All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 139 pounds. Big. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to play. Underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Nice jab. All right, 
So a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? back to range. Just out of range with that right hook. Misses with the left hook. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Lee. There's no kill on that leg kick. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. They separate. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, just misses with the kick. This old guy's really throwing with authority. Nice head kick. Oh, what a punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the guard. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Straight punch lands. Back to the overhand left, no good. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing this strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. One minute on the clock. Go, guys, work. Just a slip there. And there comes the separation now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice kick. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. Came on inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Big kick land. Second round, straight ahead. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, that's a nice strike. Certainly found the target. Punches block. Right hand on point. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but 
just misses with that one. Another straight left. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. He lands flush with that right hand. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Outstanding kick there by Lee. What a tricky head kick. Back and forth we go! Off. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give us the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. himself in the pocket. Look at the turtle in that kick. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. You're behind. Take Real nice body kick lands. Great punch landing with so much power. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Big kick. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big head kick lands. Nice punch, man, over the top. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. And he landed the right hand there. Keep your hands up, Morgan. Come on now. Ten seconds to go. They continue to exchange. No telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. 
All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking you these, man. You got to check these kicks or you're gonna be lifting around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Nice straight punch. What a body kick. shot to the body beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Lee's shot is blocked. Hard shots landing on both sides here. really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Oh, he hurt it bad with a jab. Kick to the body by Lee. Blocks that strike. Oh, and he counters with a hook, and he landed the punch there, or so it appeared. Nice job by Lee. Just unable to quite find that range. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Ooh, head kick landed. He's hurt. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got a shot. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. 20 seconds to go. Big body kick. Final seconds of round three. Oh, nice 
nice check on the leg kick offering there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's gotta get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll he'll change his stance. Let's go, guys, work. Pretty effective strike there as he led with that left hand. It's his best strike. It does not matter what fight stance he's in. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just missed with the left there. Powerful leg kick lands. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection, it's blocked. Beautiful strike. And an outside leg kick lands. see how well he throws it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Back and forth we go. Counters with the right hand. Visibly limping here. Nice loop and punch. Big body kick land. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And they separate. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Big kick land. Double leg takedown. Shot is blocked there by Lee. Single collar tie now. And now he's got that tight punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Cable inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night in that area. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. What a punch. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Final minute. Big leg kick land. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. 
45 seconds remain in the round. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Real quick leg kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Beautiful punch. Slips the punch. Still unable to like, find that precise range with the high kick. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Good stick. Look at that leg. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You got to do better defensively. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was high. And now he's got hurt bad. Nice punch lands over the top. That was a thudding leg kick. Throws the right hand there. Nice body kick. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. I wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. shot the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Oh, lands another punch there. And not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean. If he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Relax, relax. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Blocks the shot. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Trying to find a home for that right hand. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. That kick blocked by Lee. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice punch by Lee. Liver kick. Lee gets kicked to the body again. Oh, 
real sneaky body kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Trademark inside leg kick there by Lee. Going orthodox now. He can't even, he can barely stand. Nice defense there, huge block. Defense. Can't take many of those, better chest. Take down now. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Nice punch, man. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Right at the elbow, body kick land. It's the elbow there. Lee gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. Final seconds of the fight. Big kick land. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. How the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon. He did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you control, and that's fight to the best of your ability.